to show you yet another. This is the fourth one I've gotten. I drove out of town to get it. And uh, it's a real pretty. It's a 92. The other three I had were 96s. And uh, this one, even, although it's older, is well kept. Better kept. Uh, so uh, I know the fella had it. And uh, it's, it's really done nicely. Uh, preserved beautifully. Now, a couple of things that, that I want to tell you about this particular guitar is <clears throat> when I, you know, I, I uh, took the pickup ring, lifted it off, and put my washers in there to lift the pickup off the top so the top can vibrate a little more. I noticed that in between the pickup ring and the pickup were little like um, double-sided tapes. And uh, on this double-sided tape, I, my L4 had it as well, and I guess that's Gibson's way of putting something in there to prevent feedback. Also on the, on the springs for the pickup ring, right underneath there is a big rubber tube, and I assume it's there to again keep things from feeding back. So this guitar shouldn't be feeding back on you. By the way, it's one of the prettiest and it plays spectacular. Got a beautiful tone. Let me play something for you. Anyway, it's got a beautiful tone. This, uh, when I got it though, I couldn't get the action low enough. On the bridge foot was too tall, so I had to do some sanding so I can get the action down where I like it. Uh, it might be a little low for some people. And, uh, but the neck is a real nice, uh, actually the necks have all been about the same, so they have a pretty good standard on those, I guess. Um, let's take a look at it close up. What do you say, guys? All right, here it is. As you can see, the pickup is in really nice shape. Same thing with the tailpiece. There is a tiny little bit of checking on the back. Um, you know, this guitar, you know, is a 175 basically, except with only one pickup. And, uh, it's really hard to see any flaws in this guitar. In the back of the neck, there is a, a little bit of discoloration you can see right there where uh, it's been played. Um, but really, it's, it's fine. It, you, you know, if you wanted to buff that out, you could. Um, frets look pretty good. There's a little bit tiny little bit of wear, nothing that's going to serve as any kind of problem. Um, also in the fretboard, it looked like somebody was doing a lot of bending on this, uh, right, right around in here. And so you can see they kind of bent into the fretboard, which again, that's not going to do anything to you. But it's in beautiful, beautiful shape. 
I really should keep it. I, I say that about every guitar, and it's like, geez. Really? So, um, this has got a beautiful tone, man, this particular one. Let's hear some octaves. Let's see. In tune or out of tune? How do you, how do you like your octaves? So yeah, man, it's it's got a nice, nice tone. The only thing about this guitar, it doesn't have the original case. And I, it's like, what happens to the cases? What did somebody just, what do you buy it without the case? You know, I just bought a guitar recently and you gotta pay extra for the case, you know, Fender, bass, and it's like, what? When did they start that? <clears throat> but anyway, beautiful sounding guitar, great playing. If you're in a, if you're interested, but it's a hard shell case. around here somewhere nice sustain it's definitely got that sound anyway here it is 92 uh, Herb Ellis beautiful shape give me a call I'll talk to you later let me finish with a tune okay here we go Mm-hmm. <laughs> 